Even as talk of a buyout dominates the news in the beer industry, Miller Brewing is celebrating its 160th birthday. There are a lot of ways that fans are enjoying the milestone. Paul Bialis has uh, great timing. His book, Miller, Inside the High Life, is just going on sale. And David Ryder is vice president of brewing for Miller Coors. Great to see you both. Yeah, thank you. Thank you Vince. David, let's talk about the news of the day first. I'm not sure if there's much that, that you can say at this point since we're just sort of in the mere suggestion uh, area. But uh, what is the word over at Miller about a possible buyout? from AB InBev? Well, for us, it's pure speculation at the mm -hmm. moment, Vince, and we're really concentrated on the 160th anniversary, and so we've got lots of activities for that, and I'll be pleased to tell you about some of those things. Uh, let me just follow up real quick. Is there any... Uh thing that you could say about how that would affect our operations here in Milwaukee if that were to ever happen? It, 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 it uh, really wouldn't affect the operations here in Milwaukee. We're committed to Milwaukee. We've been here for a long time. We're, we're still putting in a lot of capital, a lot of money into Milwaukee, and we're here for the long term. So it will not affect Milwaukee at all. Well, Miller is so much a part of this history, beer, obviously, uh, and Miller specifically. Paul, you've done another book. You've done several of the breweries in town yeah. where you've gone in and taken beautiful photographs. Tell us a little bit about uh, what makes this book special. This is a photography book you know, on an existing brewery, but it showcases the beautiful brewing process at Miller. So you've got the quality ingredients it starts with. Then you get to see the brew kettles. You get to meet the employees. Think of the hundreds of thousands of people that tour Miller. I mean, people love to learn about making beer. And this book does it in an artistic, photographic manner. And there's a CD included. You get to hear direct from the employees, the retirees, about the brewing process. We had uh, labels bound into the book, beer labels. And uh, it's just a really a full, beautiful package. I mean, if people like art, if they like photography books, if they love brewing, they love Milwaukee, it's a book you should have. David, something Paul does very well in his books is he captures how much the people matter in the brewing process. You've brewed beer all over the world. Yes, uh, why is that? You see a, a tremendous amount of pride in the brewers. Oh, absolutely. I think that this particular book really captures and epitomizes Miller time. It's all about Miller time. <laughs> it's all about the 160th anniversary. You know, we've got special tours this entire month, special archives which are rotating. We even have a special beer. We call it 1855. And this was a beer that we had for the 150th anniversary. And some people might even, even remember it way back because it's very similar to what we called Miller beer in the mid 90s, uh, the beer with the red label. Delicious beer where we take advantage of the different barley malts and the different types of hops. All right, well, thank you both for being here. We could talk about this all day, but we'll send people to the place where they can go to find out more information about uh, Paul's book or any of the details of the celebrations that David talked about, uh, anything going on over at Miller. We've set up a link on our website, tmj4.com. You can access it right now. Here's a live look outside. Meteorologist